Hello, brave, beautiful, beloved soul friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so grateful that you are exactly you, and I am so grateful that you are here. I just want to say I feel so blessed to share and speak on this platform. I really enjoy talking about understanding and healing unconscious body minds to expand and liberate aspects of consciousness. It is my heart's greatest joy, and I thank you for being here, sharing the journey with me um, through this miraculous adventure of life. So today I feel very called to talk about forgiveness, which can be a really touchy subject. So I want to kind of go over it in a few different perspectives and see if we can't revolutionize the understanding of the word forgiveness and then use it to really empower and liberate ourselves and move forward into the expansion of love and light that we truly are within our beingness. Kristen talked about this topic a while back and I will leave video links to the to those videos, those content creations in the video description below. Um, so please feel free to explore that if you're interested in diving into the topic of forgiveness a little bit more. And she talked about this a little bit a, a while back and these ideas have kind of grown and expanded along the journey. So when we think of forgiveness, a lot of time it's focused on things outside of us in the past. You say, I, I need to forgive this situation or I need to forgive this person. And that's where things can get tricky because then it's like, well, I'm not dismissing what happened because what happened was not okay. What happened just was straight up not okay. But here's the thing that we need to understand. The past only exists in the cells of our bodies. Otherwise, it does not exist. The past only exists in the cells of our bodies. And so rather than forgiving external events or situations of the past, the most effective way to approach forgiveness is actually to forgive the cells of our bodies for holding on to things that they do not need to hold on to anymore and then to forgive the cells of our bodies for not knowing their divine worthiness. And when we approach it from that perspective, it creates more space for consciousness to have power to transmute neural wiring. So there is no past according to the unconscious body mind. The past doesn't exist. Think about that. The past does not exist actually exist according to our unconscious body minds and you're like okay well that doesn't make sense because I have all these thoughts and feelings and memories and projections of all these uncomfortable sensations and all this stuff from the past so it kind of seems like the past is very much alive in my body the past is only alive in the body because memories exist to provide navigation and so past experiences created neural wiring that's now being activated in the present moment and is trying to provide navigation and that's where all the neural projections the implicit projections come from and so when you have an uncomfortable body sensation or a feeling of fear or panic or worry or distrust or feeling lonely for example that's actually the activation of neural wiring that was sculpted during past moments of unfulfilled attachment needs and some form of internal or external stimulus is now activating those regions of neural wiring and that neural data says oh it's my job to provide navigation so here let me give you information and then there's all these projections where the body might be reliving stuff from the past but it's not that the past is alive in the body, it's that the past created neural data that's trying to navigate the newly unfolding moments. Do you see the distinction there? It's very subtle, because from one perspective, yes, the past is alive in the body, but it's only alive in presently existing neural data that's trying to navigate now. Because neurobiologically speaking, memories exist to provide navigation. Neuroscientifically, neural data doesn't care about the past. The way that stuff is stored is organized to help provide navigation in present and potential moments. But if it's disintegrated neural wiring, then it's going to disrupt navigation 
And that's when the unconscious body mind might project feelings of reliving the past because those incomplete experiences, the disintegrated neural data from those moments of unfulfilled attachment needs is now being activated and providing navigation, disrupting navigation is a better way to describe that. And so consciousness exists and operates independently of brain body wiring. The true identity of self essence is always distinct from all components of experience and neural data. Neural data and experiences might have sensations of fear or unfulfilled attachment needs that can manifest in an infinite myriad of ways. But consciousness, the true essence of the self is a pure vibration of unconditional love. And so as consciousness becomes distinct from the details of brain body wiring and experience, then the true identity of the self has more power to transform experience and transform brain body wiring. If the self is the same as all the experiences in the brain body wiring, then there isn't quite as much power to change it, to heal it, to restore it, to transmute it, to rewrite it, to liberate it. But as consciousness realizes its distinction from brain body wiring and experience, then the identity of the true self has authority and power within all of it. And so instead of being a person forgiving a past experience or some other person from a past moment, it's actually consciousness forgiving the brain and the body for holding on to things that it doesn't need to hold on to and consciousness forgiving the brain and the body for not knowing its divine worthiness. A completely different perspective on what it means to forgive or how to apply the concept of forgiveness to cultivate healing liberation. Do you see the difference? It's subtle, but once it clicks, it's really, really powerful. Because I remember there were times way back in the day where Kristen was a person trying to forgive a past experience or a person from the past, and it never worked. It never worked. There wasn't healing in it. It just got stuck in like a loop cycle of going back to this thing and not having power and being stuck in it. It was just kind of this stuck cycle of a loop and it didn't get anywhere and there wasn't healing and there wasn't freedom in it. And so this new perspective, instead of being a person forgiving something in the past, it's the essence of self as pure consciousness, forgiving the brain and the body for holding on to things that it doesn't need to hold on to. And the true essence of self as pure consciousness, forgiving the brain and the body for not knowing its divine worthiness. Because when rough stuff happens or people don't treat us really well, it creates neural wiring that says that we're not worthy of unconditional love. We're not worthy of unconditional safety. We're not worthy of unconditional support and respect. And then that can disrupt navigation and create some unpleasant sensations. And I invite you to explore a free gift I have for you guys called Clues of Consciousness from Attachment Systems. Among all the infinite possible game changers, this is probably the most powerful one. So please, please check it out because it is truly a game changer. No matter who you are or where you're at in your healing journey, it is a game changer. Basically, there's four distinct attachment systems, each carries specific internal needs, and when those needs are not met throughout any point of life, it creates neural wiring that disrupts navigation and creates all these specific kinds of clues. And if you can recognize the clues from specific attachment systems and then strive to fulfill those attachment needs, then it rewires the neural data. So for example, you might have sensations of feeling lonely. Instead of being a person feeling lonely now, consciousness can recognize that loneliness is a clue from disintegrated neural wiring from past moments of unfulfilled attachment needs in the first attachment system where aspects of self didn't feel seen, loved, treasured, appreciated, and celebrated. And then consciousness can fulfill those attachment needs for the self in the present moment and transmute the neural wiring so that the loneliness decreases. Because loneliness isn't about a person wanting to be with another person. It's actually the essence of self experiencing neural projections that the self doesn't feel seen, loved, treasured, and appreciated and celebrated. But as long as the self needs that from other sources, then it's giving away its power. 
So please, please, if you're on a healing journey, embracing it to any degree, I really encourage you to explore this free gift from my heart to yours. It is a healing journey game changer. Clues of consciousness from internal attachment systems, and I'll leave the links in the video description below. So instead of forgiveness being, I'm a person forgiving this thing from the past, this situation, this experience, these are the people, things that happened, things I felt, things I went through. Instead of giving away power to things outside of us in a moment that is not now, consciousness turns inside and says, I have power in the present moment through loving connection with the truth of my essence. And from there, I can rewrite anything inside of this brain and body so that it changes the automated navigation and regulation. Because that's the job of the unconscious body mind is to provide navigation and regulation so that consciousness can have a uniquely individualized personal experience in the form of a human being. And so when we approach forgiveness, I just invite you and encourage you to play with this subtle shift of perspective and see if it can help provide you with more power to cultivate healing restoration, loving liberation, and personal power reclamation. Instead of being a person trying to forgive something that happened, stand firm in the truth of your essence as consciousness and forgive the cells of your body for holding on to things that it doesn't need to hold on to anymore. Forgive the cells of your body for not knowing their divine worthiness. Okay, so when stuff rises up, we don't actually have to look at the past to heal it. That is one approach, and there are effective ways to go into past experiences and specifically transmute those energies. But a more effective way is allowing consciousness to be distinct from and connected with the brain and the body, allowing the observational self to be distinct from and connected with the experiential self, allowing the inner life partner or present moment adult self to be distinct from and connected with the inner child or childhood self aspects. And with all these practices of distinction and connection working directly with consciousness, consciousness doesn't have data, only the body has data. Consciousness doesn't have automated stuff, automated perspectives, automated sensations. Only the brain and the body do. And the more that we practice these roles of distinction and connection between aspects of the self who are within experience, the more power consciousness has to rewrite, transmute, heal, restore, empower, liberate, transform any aspect of brain body wiring that affects all regions of personal experience. So I just invite and encourage you to play with these subtle perspectives and see how embracing these shifts can give you more power. That's right. Give you more power. You have all the power inside of you. It's just a matter of cracking the code and unlocking it and then harnessing and embodying it and then being like, yes, this is my power and I've got it forever now. So ha 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 ha. <laughs> all the power is inside here. But when we try to forgive something in the past that is part of an experience that's not now we're giving away our power we're forfeiting our power because what really matters is the experiential self in the present moment not the neural wiring but the parts of consciousness experiencing automated projections from the neural wiring and that's another huge 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 hugely important distinction the neural data does not matter in comparison with how much the consciousness matters who is experiencing it. Neural data is just like, here's a projection, here's navigation, here's regulation, but there are parts of consciousness who are directly experiencing those neural projections within and beyond awareness. And so instead of focusing on past experiences, we focus on the present experiencer. Instead of focusing on the past experience, we focus on the present experiencer. i say it one more time because this is a huge key to shifting the healing journey. We are not focusing on past experiences at all, ever, never, not at all, not at all, ever. Not focusing on past experiences because that's really just data in the body. It's just data in the body. That's all it is. 
That's not what it is. It's just that in the body. We are not focused on past experiences. We are focused on the present experiencer. Consciousness is not the same. The essence of self is not the same as the brain body wiring. We're focused on the aspects of the self who are encountering this stuff. Okay. So consciousness distinct from all brain body wiring, which is why the essence of self has power to transform anything it wants to. Instead of being a person forgiving something outside of itself in a moment that's not now, it's actually consciousness forgiving the cells of the body and letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go, because the past doesn't exist. It doesn't. I know it's kind of hard to wrap your brain around maybe, but the past doesn't exist. It's just information in the cells of our body trying to navigate now. That's the only place that the past really exists for us. The past only exists in cells of our body that are trying to navigate now and potential moments of now that we call the future. And so there is no past. There's just data inside of our bodies right now. Instead of focusing on the past experience, we focus on the present experiencer. So practice this with me. We'll say it a few times together. And you can practice this while looking in a mirror. You can practice this while looking at your hands maybe and connecting with yourself. We just practice this with me and kind of just see what it can do for you and just allow whatever comes up to come up. Maybe you don't feel anything. Maybe you start crying with relief and joy. <laughs> Just play with it and see what this can do for you and then take it and make it your own if it's something that seems applicable for your healing journey or maybe share it with a loved one that you feel might benefit their healing journey. <sighs> Let's just take a moment to center into deeper loving presence. Feel your breath and come into this new moment with me. I forgive the cells of my body for holding on to things that it doesn't need to hold on to. And you can shift the pronouns, you can shift the phrasing however it fits you, you best. And I'll, I'll play with it a few times to show some examples. I forgive the cells of my body for holding on to things that she doesn't need to hold on to anymore. I forgive the cells of my body for not knowing her divine worthiness. I forgive the cells of my body for not knowing her divine worthiness. I forgive the cells of my body for holding on to things that they don't need to hold on to anymore. I forgive the cells of my body for not knowing their divine worthiness. I forgive the energies stored in my body for holding on to things that they don't need to hold on to anymore. I forgive the energies in my body for clinging to things that she doesn't need to hold on to anymore. You see, you kind of tweak the phrasing however, however you want. <laughs> I forgive the energies in my body for holding on to things that don't need to be held on to anymore at all. And I let everything go with love. I forgive the energies in my beingness for not knowing that she deserves only all good things and unconditional love. I forgive every energetic piece of information stored in any of my bodily systems for holding on to anything that doesn't need to be held on to anymore and I let it go with love. Do you see how different that is than trying to forgive a past experience or a past person? There's a lot more power in this because consciousness is practicing loving presence with its own essence and transmuting presently existing neural data. That has nothing to do with powerless things where there were experiences that are not now and people who are not here doing things that are not happening right now. We bring our power back. We bring our power back into ourselves and we harness it and we embody it and we liberate ourselves through it. I forgive the cells of my body for holding on to information that doesn't need to be held on to anymore. I forgive the energies of my body for holding on to stuff that just doesn't serve me anymore. I forgive the energies of my beingness 
for holding on to stuff that just isn't relevant anymore. <laughs> I forgive the energies of my beingness for holding on to stuff that has nothing to do with her true identity. I forgive the energies of my beingness for holding on to things that have nothing to do with the truth of her power or her worthiness. I forgive the energies of my beingness for holding on to stuff that it doesn't need to hold on to anymore. I forgive the energies of my beingness for not knowing her divine worthiness. So you can just kind of play with that and practice letting go, breathing deeply, cultivating deeper loving presence. And again, the more that distinction and connection can be practiced, the more power consciousness has. Consciousness, distinct and connected, distinct from and connected with the brain and the body and all its wiring. The observational self or the awareness of self, distinct from and connected with the experiential self or the experiencer of self. And the inner life partner or the present moment adult self, distinct from and connected with the inner child or childhood self aspects who experience the deepest regions of the unconscious body-mind, the original foundational wiring cultivated through the original stages of attachment development and the very first formative years of personal experience that created the foundation of the unconscious body-mind and all its neural content and connectivity. Thank you so much for being here and exploring this. Um, forgiveness, again, it's just when we can take this new perspective, we have more power. It's not a person forgiving a past experience or a past feeling or someone else. It's consciousness forgiving the energies in here for holding on to stuff that it doesn't need to hold on to anymore. Memories only exist to provide navigation. They don't care about storing the past. The past only exists as presently existing neural data. And when we shift from looking at past experiences to looking at the present experiencer, then we have a lot more power. We have a lot more power. And the more that we can recognize clues of consciousness from attachment systems, the more power we have to transform anything and everything so that more of the self can be free to experience greater bliss and ease and well-being and peace and joy and harmony and enthusiasm and inspiration and passion and ecstasy and wonderment and health and vitality and... All, all the good stuff that we are meant to experience. We are meant to experience those things. We are all meant to experience those things. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for courageously embracing your healing journey. Um, thank you for allowing me to share these little nuggets of magic that I've gleaned along the healing journey. And please do feel free to check out many mega magics in the video description below, several free gifts, uh, a couple that I mentioned, and there's a whole bunch more, and then many offerings through my Kristen's Consciousness Consultancy business. So um, if these healing journey topics interest you, we can always connect one-on-one, -on -one, or you might explore some of my other offerings, healing journey programs, practices, videos, personalized creations. There's a wide variety of offerings, even healing journey merchandise. So lots of wondering, wondrous magic, so please feel free to explore more. And the video description below and thank you so much for being here and thank you for being you i hope you have a beautiful and blessed day my beloved soul friends namaste the love and light in my divine consciousness sees and honors the love and light in your divine consciousness i'm sending you infinite love and light and on behalf of the truth of your essence i forgive the cells of your body for holding on to things that it does not need to hold on to anymore and I give every cell of your body permission to let go now. On behalf of the truth of who you really are, I give every cell of your body permission to let go of what no longer serves you. On behalf of the truth of your being, I give every energetic piece of information in your brain and your body, complete divine permission to release things that it does not need to hold on to anymore. I give every cell of your body complete permission on behalf of your highest self. On behalf of your highest self, the truth of your essence, I give every cell of your brain and your body complete divine permission to let go of things that it does not need to hold on to anymore. 
on behalf of the truth of your divine essence, your authentic self and your highest self, I give every cell of your body permission to release and let go. And I forgive every energetic piece of your being for not knowing your divine worthiness. On behalf of the truth of your beingness, I give every piece of your brain and body permission to release. And on behalf of the truth of your highest self, I forgive every part of you for not knowing your divine worthiness. Forgiveness is really just letting go to create space for the integration of higher divine frequencies for the liberation and expansion of the truth of who you are. And therein lies freedom. It awaits you if you claim it. Sending you all my love, light, and healing journey empowerment, beloved soul friends. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. I'll see you in another video.